busy day, huh? Yeah, sure was. We've done... This morning I've done a lot of stuff, talked to lots of people on the phone to get more stuff in here to show to you. And, um, and maybe to you. Hmm. I'll let you play with it. And uh, then uh, we did some tutorials for the ES8. And then uh, we did some Ibanez stuff. And uh, you'll see it in a sec because we'll play it in this video too. And Ibanez, RG, blah, blah, I don't know. And um, why isn't this all the way, all the way, as you would say that, you know, with your British... Mm -hmm. I, I don't even have a British accent. Because you have a big damn British accent. Yeah, anyway, totally. uh, now we're looking at a parallel... Parallel? Parallel. Parallel? Priority. Parallel. Mm. That stuff is so disgusting. Mogu mogu. There's stuff in it, like bits. Mogu mogu juice is awesome. No. Mm hmm. Oh. We're looking at parallel connections in the ES8 and why, I was going to say why the fuck, but why in the world do you need that? I have to watch my language because you're not of age. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have added something to the pedal board, which by the way is uh, Loop 1 Deep 6 Compressor Archer in 2 Golden Brownie Plexi Type Pedal in 3 Jupiter Fuzz from Walrus Audio in 4 Nothing in 5 um, DD7 in 6, DD7 in 6, Quattro in 7, and the Ditto in 8. So if you turn the Ditto on... Something is supposed to happen. What? Why? Um... Oh, good question, huh? Yeah. The Ditto is on. Why can't we hear it? See if there's in general a guitar signal before we continue. So what's happening here? Well, actually we changed, maybe that's it. Let me try. Uh, we changed the loop seven and eight to um, mono, right? Just so that it's easier to see without the dual lines, maybe the return of the ditto is going into the wrong return. Maybe. You know, I'm, I'm in left even though I have to be in right. Let's let's try that. I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, no! <laughs> the cable is off. Aha. Uh -huh. No, no. Well, that's not it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it had nothing to do with anything. The cable was simply hanging out. Okay. You know, hey, troubleshooting, people. Mm -hmm. So the Ditto is an 8, but that's actually we're not going to use that, so this was all for nothing. Um, we are going to explore parallel loops. Now that is something that this thing can do, that other loopers definitely can't. What would be the benefit? Experienced guitar players don't know the answer to this, so what do you think could be the benefit? Of having them go through parallel. Yes. So having two parallel two pedals be parallel without affecting each other and then being mixed together at their output. Well, instead of going through one pedal and then through the next and having kind of this inception effect. The inception effect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Explain what you mean with that. Being like the delay being delayed again by the next pedal. Inception effect. Inception effect. Mm -hmm. Um... You have them go through separately and then be combined. So one delay isn't being delayed again by the other delay pedal. Okay. Cool. We'll, we'll try that. I will show you the effect of the volume pedal, which is a loop, but the loop is always on. So there's no way to turn it on and off. And um, show them the volume pedal. Something. You, you dropped oh, something. Out. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's an Ernie Ball, um, Ernie Ball, mm. Ernie Ball volume pedal. Uh, but I have the big one, not the junior, under the table. So that's what we have pretty much in, in that volume loop. So... Yeah. So why is that not doing anything? <laughs> is just going perfectly That's today, just awesome. Right? <laughs> so, I don't know, on six... 
There's my volume. Why can I not? Am I doing this wrong? In, out, do I have this the wrong way? It does, should, that technically shouldn't matter. Maybe I... What's the dealio here? Am I seeing this the wrong way? Do I have to engage the volume loop? You know, do I actually have to turn that on? Ah, it might be a loop that you can turn on. You know, I've never, I've never tried this. I'm an idiot. Maybe it is a loop that you actually... <laughs> Maybe it is actually a loop that you have to turn on. So we'll try this. Uh, wait. So I go over here. Yes, you have to turn it on. Okay. Now that's cool. I didn't know that. So you can turn it on. So you can turn on and off your volume pedal. Hey, we've learned something. There's nothing. There's something. It's called a manual tremolo. Okay, so we've learned something. Volume pedal can be turned on and off. Now, um, Kiana, we're going to go to preset number one. We've actually learned something else. When you're in manual mode, pick any pedals you want and just hit right. And you've saved it. So that's a fourth, fourth way to program the loops. So, Kiana, we want... The two delays, which, by the way, replaced the uh, space work with a quattro, uh, to have two delays. I want delay uh, six and seven, please. Do you think? We're in manual mode. It's actually very simple to do that. Right. Um, okay. No, we're in manual um, mode. Just so six, six, six. Six, six, and seven. Six, six and seven. And yeah. save. And... And again. Yes. <laughs> So what we have now is, we have a digital delay. I'm going to show you the digital, digital delay. And we have an analog delay. Clearly different, and the analog delay is a little bit faster. Now, predict what happens when the digital delay runs through the analog delay. It is delayed again by the analog delay. So the effect would be, given that I have... <laughs> add beautiful. <laughs> so. so it would be exactly as if I'm playing those notes into the analog delay. Right? So the effect, if I play a single note, would be this. that the strumming will be taken care of by the digital delay. So... Right? Mm -hmm. So each of those digital delays gets analog delayed. So what if I want to go and I want to have my digital delays only with the guitar, I give a guitar input and each guitar input gets delayed, which that's happening, but only each guitar input gets delayed by the analog delay. So I'm going to have to take the digital input, the digital delay inputs away from the analog delay. How would I do that? Show me how it's done, remember? All right, let me try and figure this out. Um, yes. Okay. Then... You go in between? Go, yeah, in between in here, the, right? Yes. Okay. And you hit enter. Oh. No, that was edit. Sorry. Exit. Okay. So we're on the structure page. That's the important thing to, to remember. Enter. And now you see a parallel connection being made. And now you move seven, seven. into the parallel connection. There. And right. Yep. And that's it. Obviously, another way to do this is, I mean, this thing, let's go into two. I go into edit mode, 
patch loop structure. So first of all, I need loop on and off. So I'm gonna go six on, seven on, exit. Now loop structure, enter. Again, I go in between, hit enter to make a parallel connection, go on to seven and move it parallel. So you can do this in the edit mode as well, mm -hmm. uh, where we have to go for all the more complicated things but in these operations, loop structure, parallel, all this stuff can be done on the main mode simply by, you know, with the display button. So you can do this here. So let's see the difference. Obviously now we, we see which ones are on. We can't see the structure. So we hit display. We can see the structure. So on four, as you can see, we have done the same thing. And on five, we have a normal serial connection. So we can actually compare. We've prepared this for you. We can compare the difference. The inception effect. It's, tech, it's really a clearer, more aufgeräumt, more cleaned up uh, delay signal. So especially if I'm doing a few, uh, more than the one... What's on the floor here? Now we've noticed something. What did we notice sound wise? Um, that it sounded hollow. Hollow? Hollow. Can you um, remember why? Yeah, because, um, the guitar signal is parted when it goes into these delay pedals. When we're on parallel. When, parallel. We're, on, when we're on parallel, it, the guitar signal has to get divided and then gets added going back into here. And the problem is it isn't added like exactly parallel again, but a bit moved apart, versetzt. Yes. Um, so we're splitting the guitar signal, so going through both delays, but each delay is keeping, obviously, the clean signal in there too. It's keeping the dry signal, which then means when the both of them get mixed together, because the thing is nothing but a mix, mixer in this case, both of them get mixed together. And if this doesn't happen completely in phase, if one of those delays is taking the uh, clean signal just the tiniest bit back, or, you know, if, if they're moved against each other. You have a face eraser, something like a that. A face right? eraser, face cancellation. <laughs> cancellation. Yes, we, you have face <laughs> cancellation. And uh, it's like two pickups out of phase. That's exactly what happens. And so uh, when that happens, you get less of a thick sound, the, th the sound. The sound gets hollower. And compare with, I'm going to get the mix down quite a bit here on both of these delays. So this is my dry guitar sound. Now in series. Now that's not my original guitar sound anymore. So mixing it together at the end definitely causes some form of phase problem, which uh, we don't like. We guitar players are not in favor of this. I mean, uh, something about a looper switcher is always how good does my guitar signal get preserved? Mm -hmm. And I think the idea of par par parallel loops thank you, is really awesome. Uh, in reality, I wouldn't be happy about this. Again. like a 
phaser because that's exactly what's happening. So not excited about that. But let's just assume we didn't mention that and boss still loves us. You don't know. You have no idea. Um, let me show you another thing we could do. I could. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. How do I do that? I want... Let me go here. I want my archer to be on. So I'm going to go... I'm going to turn the archer on. That's number two. Number two. And I'm going to I'm going to put my quattro on. That's number seven. No, number number seven. Yes. So, okay. So that would be. With a filter delay, which is awesome. So that's neat. But I want to be able to mix in that delay sound. Okay. So, what I want is... Let's see if I can do this. I want to, yeah, okay. Let's, we'll, we'll find out. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and take my... I'm going to make a parallel connection here. I'm going to move six out of it. Uh, can I not do this? I'm going to move seven into it. Okay. I'm going to move six out of it. Ah, here we go. Because I don't, I want my archer signal to continue to go to the end. Mm -hmm. I don't want another pedal in parallel. Mm -hmm. I just want, so, ah, okay. mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take my volume pedal. Get this shit gonna take my volume pedal and move it behind my delay mm -hmm. delay quattro volume pedal behind it for which of course I have to what which we've learned turn it on turn it on so so I have it's working so far so I have my volume pedal down right now <laughs> And now if I increase, the quattro is being fed, right? Because mm -hmm. it's getting a parallel thing. It's being fed, which means it is creating delays. We're just not hearing them. Because they're... Because the volume pedal is down. So... But yeah, that... We're still not hearing them. So... What did I do wrong? Two, seven, volume. But isn't that technically what should happen? Let's take the volume out. Add the volume. How does it make sense? Mm. Okay, let's move the volume here. If it's before it, it works. for the delay. That's weird. 
Do I get that? Do I know why? No. Okay, well, it works if you put it before. Um, obviously, now we want to see what about the phasing issue. Difficult if it's a filter delay, so we're going to put it on an analog, uh, on a digital delay. <laughs> Sigma is going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clearly hollow, right? Fuck, I'm sorry, but uh. <sighs> Maybe it's not the ES8. Because if it is, a lot of the videos I had planned for part 27 to 32 of this series, which is about a lot of parallel stuff, um, are completely pointless. Mm -hmm. What if it's the Quattro that delays the signal? Let's get seven out of here. Put six in it. Okay, mm -hmm. same thing with six. Yeah. Which means we're going to turn... Six on and seven, and off. seven off. Yep. Let's see where, where the problem is. I can't believe that boss possibly messed that up. I think it's the the processing in the quattro possibly that there's a little bit of a latency, you know, a little bit of a delay. So small that you would never notice it when you play it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It's not the ES8. It's your pedal. Or my pedal in this case. So, depending on the pedal, there might be an issue with phasing. So, we, w we can do these videos. Awesome. <laughs> So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the mix all the way up here, and I can with my volume pedal now mix in the delay as I want. Obviously, the volume goes up because I'm mixing together two signals. Um, let's do one more thing. We're already way past 20 minutes on this. <laughs> this is a, I'm sorry, but I mean, this is a complicated thing. So we'll do, we'll show everything we need to show, right? If you, if you guys want to see it. So, okay, we've done mixing in a delay. Mm -hmm. I want to do the Archer and a Fuzz. So we're going to turn six off. Going to turn four on okay mm -hmm. but we're going to move four behind the volume and we're also going to try in front of it where am i now uh six so we're now going to move four parallel mm -hmm. for some reason uh, oh, oh, oh yeah guitar has to <laughs> Now that works. For some reason, four works. And I want the volume behind the drive. Remember why? So you only change the volume of the drive. And not how much I'm pushing yeah. the drive. Okay. Um, so this is already an interesting sound. I just turned the archer off, which means a clean sound with a fuzz mixed in. You can clearly hear the clean sound. It's, uh, it's still very nice and defined, but I could mix in. A 
mount you would never play with the fast pedal by itself. Because it would be so horrible. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I want the archer to be in parallel to that. So I'm going to move number two into that parallel loop. And now I've got my archer right here. That can mix the Jupiter in to be dirty. the horrible fuzz of nightmares. I've created a parallel clone fuzz tone that usually doesn't exist like this. And if I then go and send that through my, let's say, quattro, why not? Just for shits and giggles. Oh. I turn my quattro back on. Okay. Ends back here. Archer. And both of them. A word gets very mammothy underneath while the clony archer goodness is still so that works mm -hmm. that is cool uh, of course you can do parallel compression you can do you want to hear the golden brownie in it let's do that so we're going to take number four out of it, uh, new, number four, we're good, and the golden brownie into it, good, then of course we have to turn them on, so four off, golden brownie on, right now we can't hear it because my volume pedal is down. <laughs> The archer. some kind of phase cancellations. I mean, it's not like I put both of them together and I have this mega fat sound. Some frequencies will cancel each other out. That is part of the game. It's kind of... I think you can create some very interesting stuff with it.
It's got the clarity of the clone while the the screaminess of the golden brownie. <laughs> said the um the question obviously is always is does it make sense how well do the pedals play together but even if that's something you don't use hardcore it's definitely a new playground for us guitar players to say hey what if i combine these two what if i do this what if i have a clean compressed signal parallel to my clone um and obviously you can create a parallel signal chain which in the end goes out of a second output. Remember this, we have two outputs. So I could run my clone from my same pedal board. In this one patch, I could run my clone into amp number one and my golden brownie into amp number two. Have you ever thought about this? Mm, no, not until you said it. <laughs> but you, you see what, what I'm getting at right mm -hmm. now? It's getting mixed together in the same amp and maybe yeah. the frequencies are fighting. But I could say, hey, this amp's doing this, this amp's doing this. I bike both of them, I put them on stage hard left and right, and you create this really wide soundscape. The possibilities are there, they're for you to discover. I only, you know, we could only give you a few examples. Um, so we're off to now talk about trails. That's the next video, right? Mm-hmm. See ya.